get sick. Yeah. Tell you what happened. And the most interesting thing about that entire album, I hope I don't get a hit put out on me for this. <laughs> but, you know, whenever we got signed, Tommy Matola was heading up Sony at the time. And Tommy and Irvin, they were kind of, you know, always competing against one another for the big hits and the big artists and that sort of thing. So Tommy wanted to sign us and bought us out from Giant. And we were ready to go because we didn't feel like we were being pushed and supported the way we should be because that last album we did for Giant, here we are touring and people are coming up to us and saying, when is your album coming out? Like, <laughs> yeah. You know, that's when we knew there was some red flags. But anyway, so the first thing that happens when we go to meet Tommy Matola, we he, he invited us to a restaurant. We didn't know that he was having problems with Mariah, like him and Mariah's mm -hmm. problems, and they were about to go through a divorce. Right. Hence the song, remember when I could see forever in your eyes. Wow. The song to Mariah. Every single time he would invite us somewhere, he would ask us in the middle of the restaurant or wherever it might be to sing some of that song. And he <laughs> was trying to save that relationship with Mariah and that song was like his anthem, Remember When. So he was putting that record, and I think he was blinded by love. And I, because because that by far was not the, the song that needed to be released first, man. There were so many other good songs on that record. I'm not knocking that record, but it was very, very pop, almost adult contemporary. And it was not what we wanted to release as a first single. You know, so that, interestingly enough, that song was released first because of Tommy Matola and yeah. Mariah, what they were going through and him being in love and wanting to like dedicate that song to her. Mm, that's really interesting. 